talking about Doctor Who today, the long-running science fiction show on the BBC about an alien with two hearts who can travel in time and space in his little blue box that he calls the TARDIS. And of course, as a bonus, he can regenerate, which means that when he dies, he can reincarnate as a completely different person. It's uh, basically uh, Colonel Sanders. And of course, the Doctor is going to be regenerating pretty soon here because the uh, current actor who plays him, Peter Cabaldi, he's calling it quits. So they're going to need another Doctor. And uh, I have a few suggestions of who I think should be the next Doctor Who. First one off the uh, list is Benedict Cumberbatch. Now, do I think that uh, Doctor Strange is going to be playing Doctor Who anytime soon? No, I don't. But uh, a man can dream. Next one is a, another suggestion I have that I think is a bit unlikely, but I'd still like to see it. And that is Patrick Stewart. You know, Patrick Stewart, he's done everything. He's been the captain of the Enterprise. He's been Professor X. I'd like to see him uh, take a shot at uh, Doctor Who. Okay, so next on my list is another big shot actor who I think uh, probably won't play Doctor Who, but I'd like to see him give it a shot, and that is Idris Elba. Now, if you look at Idris Elba, and you look at all the guys who played Doctor Who before him, you might notice a one thing that's really different. And that is his street presence. I think uh, that's that'd be good for Doctor. Mix things up. Give him you know, a street personality that only Idris Elba could bring. Now, uh, Peter Capaldi said, as far as who he thinks should replace him, he said a woman. So uh, I have a, a favorite of mine who I think would be a good Doctor Who in the first female Doctor Who, and that is uh, Emma Watson. I don't think I need to say any more. Let's, you know, let's give uh, Hermione something to do. And uh, speaking of Harry Potter, I'm going to say it once. I'll say it a hundred times. Rupert Grint. He needs the work, people. And speaking of people who need work, Merrick Garland. You know, he had a gig li lined up, but that didn't pan out. So uh, can you give him some consideration? Now, next up, we have a guy who's already played Doctor Who, but he didn't play it in the TV show. He played it in one of the movies. Peter Cushing. Now, I know what you're saying. Peter Cushing, but he's been dead since the 1990s. How could he play Doctor Who? Well, you know what? Being dead didn't stop him from starring in Star Wars Rogue One. Next up is probably going to be my most controversial pick, and that is President Donald Trump. You know, I, people are probably, why, how, why him, really? Well, you know what? He's done some acting before. Uh, he was in Home Alone 2. And I gotta say, his performance in that was stellar. He had a simple role. He was just some guy that Macaulay Culkin ran into in the ho hotel lobby and he gave him directions. But, you know, most people, they just would have played that off like a simple walk-on bit. But he, he stayed there. He looked at Macaulay Culkin, even as, you know, the character was moving away. And basically, I think he gave some thought to it. He said, well, if I ran into some kid in the hotel lobby and didn't know where the reception desk is, I think I would, I'd be somewhat confused by this. I mean, who else would have thought to have done that except for Donald Trump? And that's why I think he, he's missed his calling in life. Clearly, he's better suited as an actor instead of the leader of the free world. Now, if he was to take on Doctor Who, he would have to quit being the president. And, you know, I... Why not? You know, I, I think Doctor Who is much more important and, you know, much much more respected than being the president. So I think maybe we should get on that, people, you know, start hashtagging uh, Donald Trump. 
next Doctor Who, you know? Like I said, he, he'd have to quit the presidency and do this instead. Let's just give that some thought. So now we get to my number one pick for Doctor Who. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this, uh, Doctor Who is a long-running uh, science fiction show on the BBC. But uh, it hasn't been on forever. There was It ran from the 1960s to the late 1980s, and then it went off the air. You know, people got tired of it. They tried to bring it back with a TV movie that failed miserably. But then one man, who I think understood Doctor Who more than anyone else... Brought it back to life, and that is why my number one pick for Doctor Who is Russell T. Davis. And uh, those were my picks for Doctor Who.